Hello, it's John Burford with Chart of the Week for Monday the 1st of August and today I am covering a very old friend. I've covered it uh, on and off for the last few years. Uh, the Silver Miner FTSE 100 member Fresnillo or Fresnillo. <laughs> I'll, I'll call it Fresnillo. Um, and uh, you can see that uh, it's been on a pretty much a roller coaster for a, a lot of its life. Um, this is the um, Corona crash low down here in March of 2020. But of course, it's been much higher um, we, we, when silver prices were uh, riding pretty high. But of course, in the last few years, uh, precious metals have been totally out of favor uh, with investors and traders and um, there's been very little activity uh, and one of the um, signposts I use for a possible reawakening of interest in certain markets is when they stop appearing in the headlines for any length of time and that's certainly been true of uh, Fresnillo, the gold miners as well, the metals, gold and silver. Um, and um, that uh, can often give me a clue to expect um, a reawakening. Now, of course, I use my chart patterns to tell me uh, when that is likely to happen. In other words, to get the timing right. There's no point in in doing this exercise and that you get unless you get your timing right. So here on the big picture we've got uh, an ABC, this is an A down to here, a B up to here and then I believe this is the C wave. Uh, a lot of overlapping uh, waves here which are uh, characteristic of corrections and in after the of course the um, corona crash uh, the economies were pumped full of QE and uh, um, many markets rose rapidly, silver uh, included and uh, Fres Fresnillo joined it and uh, it rallied up to this high, couldn't be sustained and it spent the rest of the time I believe in an A, B, C correction along these lovely tram lines, upper line, lower line that's support, that's resistance, and uh, that's my wave two. And I believe we've moved up here to hit the resistance, been bounced down here, and there's a momentum divergence. I didn't mark it, but if you notice, there's a momentum divergence here, slight new low here. Uh, and I believe if we get a nice punch up above this tram line, uh, my next target will be this B wave high around the 10 pound region and if that succeeds then my next target would be the wave one high around the 14 pound region. And of course the share price um, is um, underpinned by the price for silver um, and here is my analysis of the uh, long-term silver chart goes back to 2011 here that one of those highs here but I believe um, I have a an excellent line separating the zones of resistance and support you see uh, up to here up to that point there that line was resistance that sharp break above it after the corona crash uh, was a signal that the line would turn into support. And over the last two years or so, it's come down and it's meeting this line for the first time since the, uh, since the, uh, the um, move above it. This line here, this region here, happens to be the Fibonacci 62% of the advance from that Corona crash low to the high. That's usually a significant support area. And so with the um, uh, uh, with, with that meeting of the 62% which actually lies right on my extended support line here, I believe the uh, market is poised 
for a major advance and I've got a, a, a target up here just under the $30 region from around the 18 currently. And here is my um, short term scenario on silver. Uh, we've had a nice move down one, two, three, four, five wave to the Fibonacci 62%. We've got a momentum divergence working here. So that heralded a, a, a strong advance and that's where we are now. We may see a little dip near term, but I think that would be an opportunity to buy a dip. And my first target would be here. Now, if that is the end of the rally uh, at the 22 um, dollar region, then um, then we should see a, a another decline. But the alternative scenario is that the the market moves above it um, in in a in a one wave. This could be a, um, a, the, the low for many weeks, months. In fact, we could see that as a one, a two, and then another sharp move up three to conform to my uh, my um, pattern on the uh, on the previous chart. So it looks as if Fresnillo should follow that pattern and move higher.